You pour about half mm. of that back into the tub and then keep whisking. Uh, sort of now, Richard, uh, you were actually impressed with the show Dragon's Den. That's why you ended up on the show, didn't you? You used to watch it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's educational. It's, it's entertainment. Education yeah. disguised as entertainment. Yeah, and so why did you go on there? Because you, originally you were a trader, weren't you? Yeah, I was originally a trader, but I'm a businessman now. I've done about yeah. 50, 50 or 60 new businesses. I love banking mm -hmm. new businesses. Yeah, what is it then? So you, you should come on the show, because yeah. I want a guy like you that can sort of, you know, dynamic and start something, make it work. <laughs> really? You know, you'd be the right person. I've got this great cookery idea, you know, two chefs, 20 minutes, one either side. Yeah. Got to produce the food. And you just, <laughs> you just need a million pounds to make it work. Absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> Five yeah. minutes to go now, guys. Yeah. Do you think it's because of your youthfulness, your youthful exuberance that makes you sort of be Mr Nice, you know, take more risk, if you like? Well, I, you know, it's all right. You know, it's all right for these people from wealthy families who've had it easy. You know, they don't have much compassion. <laughs> they don't have much compassion. You know, you know, I'm used to mixing, mixing with people who are like me and you. You know, just ordinary guys. And, is, it, you know. is he winding you up, then? <laughs> is, he, is he saying I've got no passion? Because I'll, you know, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll show him <laughs> what passion. You'll take the minute. apron off and sort him out. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, there's plenty. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to start something, right? Mm. So, so I don't like knocking people who are trying to start something new. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I feel, you know, I feel for the people who come on the show. You know, good yeah. luck to them. So I'm not going to. I think time. you do, you do feel for them, but you also point out the fact that, hey guys, you know, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm, you know, all the other guys, all the other dragons are not impressed. I'm going to give you a chance, but I want some serious returns on my money. Well, you've got to keep it real, you know? Yeah. You know, as I've heard before from someone, you've got to keep it real. Otherwise, yeah. you know, you can't just... Otherwise, you might as well do charity, you know, which, which yeah. you do a bit of charity, but you might as well do charity. Yeah. But if you're doing business, you do have to have a few constraints and make a sensible idea and so have the right people. how much are you prepared to invest, then, in, in people's ideas? Well, if it's, if it's something super duper, then, you know, I've, I've put millions into things, yeah. I guess. But uh, for something brand new, which is really an idea, you, you know, a uh, hundred grand would be a big bet. So, yeah. Because uh, most of them fail. That's a sad thing. As Deborah mm. said, about one in ten yeah. it work. So, you know, the odds are so low. That's I what know. people don't realise watching the show. That's why you need a big chunk of the business. It's like having a racehorse, isn't it? Yeah, it's really? worse. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. Just like having yeah. a racehorse. You don't know you could train it up, but you don't know how whether it's going to exactly. win the race or Exactly. Very not. much like it, yeah. Fantastic. At least it's a people person. People business. More fun than horses. Yeah, lovely. We'll talk again yeah. uh, if we can. Can, but...